For a new challenge, I'm playing RimWorld as a single android progenitor. The goal will be to reach a singularity with a civilization of androids in his likeness. Ostracized by human settlements, this android I've named Sunny after the film iRobot will toil independently, aided by some basic research and the labors of a few automatons at his disposal and work to create others in his image and likeness. As he crafts new androids to serve him in his growing automated dominion, I anticipate that he'll scale in power exponentially and progress to the point at which the androids that he crafts will actually start crafting new androids for themselves, ultimately, with the outcome of automating every facet of daily labor and even thought. There's practically no limit to how much this type of strategy can scale, so though we may start with humble beginnings, uncovering a paucity of minerals to craft new robots in a quarry each day, he should eventually reach the singularity as far as RimWorld technology can achieve. So we're spawning in with Sunny in a boreal forest in the northern part of the world. He doesn't have anything aside from the robots that he landed with. That, and we've also got these two vanometric power cells which generate free power for us. Sunny also has a bunch of robots that are gonna serve him throughout this first part of the trip. So we'll just let him install each of these items side by side. And now with the last components gathered up, we can activate these robots. And as we activate them, they should start to do jobs like any normal colonist would. Now, ideally, we want Sunny to spend all of his time creating other robots to automate his basic daily tasks for him so that he can be the mind of this operation. So I think by the end of this first week, we want to get through our first raid unscathed, and we want to have a lot of tasks automated. Ideally, we could have at least five basic T1 androids to do his tasks for him, too. So I'm just going to order our kitchen bot to chop down these trees. It should do plant cutting as well as cooking. And there we go. Sunny actually wants to help out, but the kitchen bot should do most of this for him. So that looks pretty Pretty good for a grow zone. We've also got another major grow zone over here, and we could probably expand over to that later on. We'll plant rice here, and although he's an android, Sunny actually needs food to survive. He uses it for his biomass generator, unless if he has a battery around, which it's gonna be a while till we can research battery power. So for right now, yeah, he's gonna need food. He won't, however, need sleep. And taking a look around the map, it doesn't look as if we have any exposed plasteel, so we're gonna need to rely on a quarry for this first part. We'll want our quarry somewhere fairly accessible but also not completely under a mountain so we'll put it right next to our main base and the builder bot should get to work on mining this out getting to work now on our home we're going to want to set up some temporary stockpiles in here so we'll set up a small zone over here so that wood and other materials don't deteriorate now as i mentioned sunny's resistant to a lot of things that humans have as disadvantages for example he doesn't need to sleep but his energy does get lower and we don't have any immediate source of food, so we'll rely on these berries. So we'll have him cut down one of these and use it in his bioreactor for some fuel for the first day. Sunny can eat the berries and his energy levels should rise back up. Now I'm using the Darker Nights mod, so it might be kind of impossible to see right now, but for me it honestly enhances the experience. Uh, I'll try to install some lights so that you can actually see what's important though as we go along. We'll also want to put our crafting bot to work right away, so we'll get that thing making short bows so that Sunny can hunt and defend himself. And there you go, crafter bot, great job. Just do whatever you're doing to that piece of wood. And now morning it has risen as as you can see, it's a lot of work to create the quarry, so Sunny's just digging that out right now. But when he does create this, we should have pretty much an unlimited supply of minerals. And the cleaning bot, the cleaning bot is just profusely cleaning the uh, quarry zone. It's kind of ironic because Sunny doesn't really care how clean it is here. And now the quarry is complete, and it looks like these arrow fleets and these deer had kind of a horrible run-in with a wolf, so I think we're just gonna grab them and eat them. More food for Sonny, and he's gonna need the food. Because if we don't feed him, he will start to get this malnutrition. And now Sonny's gonna grab this, what looks to be an arctic fox that wandered in down here, and finish that off. Now he can eat raw animal meat, it works in his biode mass generator. I guess we'll also invest in some lights, because it's pretty dark out here. There we go, just finishing up those lights, that casts a good shine on our crops. And there we go, these are the wall lights. Now Next, we're gonna run over some power cords from our conduits and finishing up those lines. We still have an excess 1360 watts in our power grid. So the industrial lamp lights up a huge area and consumes only 50 watts from our grid. So I'm gonna put one of those out here so that they can light up our mineral acquisition. And Sunny's just working on that. And now, well, it's kind of a different color temperature than the rest of it, but it still lights up the area. And it kind of shows how small we are in this whole region. Now we found some decent stuff already in our quarry, some uranium, component. We find only one at a time and 16 more plasteel. And since we want to keep our crafter bot working and we need more stones, let's just create an electric stone cutters table. Once we have this, this bot should start getting to work pretty much constantly. 
What's nice about this workflow is that we don't really need to waste our time hauling since we have a bot to do it. There's no advantage to hauling, it doesn't help you with anything. Now our crafter bot's creating a bunch of marble blocks, so we should be able to build a larger superstructure as we go. So now our hauler bot's taking back some more plasteel, so now we have enough to create a robotics production casket, which should get us started creating new androids. Sonny can stop working in the quarry, and then he can work on more productive tasks. And he's just completing his work here, creating the casket. We'll also make this into an indoor zone and we're gonna try to anticipate more volume we want double wide doorways at least although I'm probably not gonna end up using the structure later on it's a good start finishing off our structure roofing it up and now we can order the creation of a t1 Android this is just gonna be another colonist it requires 20 plasteel 75 steel and eight components and we're actually gonna have him do this for right now I'm just gonna queue it forever and Sunny actually has enough to get started so we'll take him out of the quarry and we'll put him on to creating the first of his kind, out of the dark light of ignorance, and into the shining glory of creation. Working all the way into the morning, Sonny will create the first of his brethren. Now he has a double burning passion in crafting, so this is giving him a lot of experience, and he should get much better at crafting as he goes. He's gonna have like level 20 crafting. Crafting and intellectual, we want these to be the tasks that he focuses on at first. And the first of his kind, who will be named... David. Now, I think the numbers don't actually mean anything, so we're just gonna give them- We'll give them numbers as placeholders until we actually have z perfect names for them. You know, we'll do it with computer indexing. We'll call him Zero. This is Zero. Zero and Sunny. And for the most part, we really just want Zero to take over all of Sunny's menial tasks. We don't want Sunny to spend, as ideally, any time in this quarry. Sunny greeted Zero in passing. The father of a great nation, Sunny. Now we've had an arrow fleet go mad, so Sunny's just gonna grab his bow and try to kite this thing. He should be good enough in shooting it, because he's at level 10, but I'm not making any bets yet. Okay, run, and he got nicked. His right arm got flat, cracked by the arrow fleet's teeth. Let's have him run away this time, and I'm sure he could repair that before too long. He's a way better shot. Oh, I didn't know that those exploded. Okay, just put out the fire. Now the last the last menial task we'll have Sunny work on is the creation of a fabrication bench. From this point forward, we could just have his bots mine out steel and he can make it into components there. And from now on, he's pretty much solely a crafter. We can take him off of any quarrying altogether. Now, finally having enough materials to create the second of his brethren, Sunny should be able to advance up his crafting and move us one step closer to the singularity. Finally, now Sunny has, en Sunny has enough skill to start making manufacturing components from steel. And we have a second robot, Red. We'll just rename him One. So now we have Zero and One. And they're pretty much going to work in the quarry all day, every day. Our kitchen bot can take care of the planting and the power production. We'll expand our zone because now we need to feed the bioreactors of more of these robots. Sunny, on the other hand, is going to get his own production workshop, and he'll be dismissed from all tasks that don't involve some sort of higher level crafting or research. Now, Sunny is such a higher tier robot that he can actually feel some human emotions. He's recreation starved, and we're going to need to create some sort of human, you know, human habitation for him. We're going to give him a single wooden horseshoes pin, and we're being raided by the bladed hive. Okay, we're gonna need to act fast if we want to counter them, though we aren't really prepared for this raid. I'm just gonna build a few spike traps out here and try to lead them into them. Other than that, Sonny's got a bow, and he could probably kite them. He has decent shooting skill. We've got them approaching pretty freaking fast. It might be all Sonny here with a freaking short bow, though we should be able to get a couple of these things done at least before they arrive it looks like they're taking the long way around because i think that this swamp land is impassable and we got like one of them done all right sunny you're up let's see how you do against this thing we're recalling all the bots recruit zero and one and send them inside and sunny's just gonna have to solo this one and it looks like we caught one of those we caught a mega scarab in a trap and he should be able to kite these last ones he is faster than them he's pretty fast on his feet actually for a robot and he is an android leader he's the highest tier of android that you can get in the game so he shouldn't have too much trouble getting around they aren't gonna light the fields on fire or anything either and i think he's just gonna run and gun them i mean this is like but it's still good shooting experience tagged it another miss take it back take it back and keep running sunny he's got good range so he should be able to outrange them and the more shots he takes the better it is for his shooting skill too got another hit in i guess we could like lead them away and then have them rebuild the traps while sunny just shoots at them from afar nope this one is pretty much just trashing my base well if he gets enough hits in they could probably just bleed out well sunny's now at level 14 in shooting so he's a crack 
back shot, but it looks like this short bow just isn't doing enough damage to them. I'll have to run him back around, and they've pretty much just trashed the outside of my base, but it looks like he's gonna be safe from these things. Yeah, we're slowing them down, so he's getting more shot attempts. Level 15 in shooting, and you know, it says that dexterity affects melee range and accuracy, other kinds of delicate work. I'm using their RPG level up mod here, so I think we're just gonna raise dexterity more. Oops, wrong character, there we go. And it's taking him a lot of shots, but Sonny's working with what little he has. Kind of if you remember how in iRobot, all of the iRobots were like kung fu masters. But yeah, this shouldn't be too bad for him as he takes out the last one and at level 16. At least he had weak enemies like this to train against. He should be at level 20 before too long. And celebrate, we just won. Bring back out the bots and let's have traps so that never happens again. And we're getting raided again by the Minan Kingdom. Uh, don't worry, it's just a guy with an ax. That is a damn good haircut though. Okay, Sonny, you know what to do. You've trained for this. Everybody's counting on you, Sonny. Let's just go out there and F this guy up and Sonny's just gonna shoot Zane. This guy's faster though. Oh shit, he is really fast. And it looks like this guy's bleeding. We could probably just leave him out here, but it's good shooting skill for Sonny. And Sonny's taken down Zane. Now we're actually gonna capture Zane because although we'll never take people, we might capture them. I mean, I never said that Sonny was a good robot, did I? He might not survive. He's got only about five more hours, but I mean, if he doesn't survive, we have all these automated robots to do our work for us. We'll see if it's even worth saving this guy. If nothing else, it's more medical experience experience. And it looks like there's a space battle going on above us. It says that several massive spaceships have engaged in combat in the planet's orbit. Debris might impact the ground. Could lead to massive fires. I heard something. Okay, there it comes. Uh, yeah, we might get hit. <laughs> yeah, there is just a lot of debris falling from the sky now. Ship chunks. And it looks like this Zane guy has actually made it. Now, uh, it's gonna be a lot of maintenance because we have to feed him and stuff, you know, but hey, at least we could force him to work. Man, there's a lot. Of, there's like people falling out of the sky. All kinds of characters. A, a porcupine, another person, a bunch of click mala. And it looks like Sonny should have enough to create two more androids now. We've got a new one called Aaron. We'll call him two. I guess the other thing I should say, these androids, most of them are simple minded. They have this trait in their bio. So when they're T1, they're very simple beings. Sonny, on the other hand, doesn't have that trait. He's more complex. It's because he's a more advanced android. But now he has enough to create a fourth. This one's called Dale. Call it three. Next, we'll just cover all the ground in concrete. It doesn't really matter how the ground looks for us, but it just matters because it makes it faster to walk around on. Now this is more looking like a robot base. Sonny's finishing off four right here. Tyler will be named four. And now that's pretty much where we wanted to get. We have five androids that are doing all of the mining for us along with our builder bot. Sonny's kind of up to higher level tasks. He's still in the workshop. He's still working to make more androids. I guess since the only material is marble, we'll pretty much just be stuck with this. And I think we're going to build him a lab to work in. Zane is successful successfully been calmed down by Sonny, so the prisoner went paranoid, but Sonny actually calmed him down, which shows he's got a lot more social skill. I think Zero tried to calm him down, but failed. Now, another thing I've noticed is that Sonny actually doesn't like an insightly environment, so we might want to create him a nice lab. If he's that thinking and feeling and he's going to be spending so much time in here, the best material we've got right now is just this normal paved tile. So Sonny can get to work on his workshop, or not his workshop, he's already got one of those. He needs a lab. Now for Sonny's lab, we're going to need a high-tech research bench, obviously, and we might put in some installments next to it to make research go faster. Now we've got an ancient danger right behind this wall, but I think we're just going to leave that alone for a while. It might be worth raiding later on. Now Sonny can finish off this research bench, and now we're starting to need power we're running low because we're using a lot of high-tech devices and right now we could make a wood fire generator to get by for the moment that can also take coal which we've been mining out of the quarry and now we've got enough to power our research bench and i think the last thing we're going to do here is just get set up with some spike traps and we're also going to wall in our compound we want to get zane to work because we want to be ready to take in new prisoners every single raid is going to be an opportunity to get new workers uh and if we use them right we should just be able to get a simple nutrient paste dispenser going. And that's pretty much free labor. Looks like Zane is pretty much recovered. He's out for a walk and he's defic- Yeah, we've also got on Dub's bad hygiene, so he's pretty much living in his own filth. We'll need to get him set up with a bathroom and other stuff, but I mean, this whole place could pretty much become a robot. Robot paradise and human prison.
pretty awful, but yeah, that's what it's gonna be. We're getting raided again by the bladed hive. So now it looks like it's the mega fuck. Okay, we've got giga locusts, but this time we actually have some spike traps set up so we could lead them through them. They're not particularly smart, these guys. And just get a couple more traps in and everybody get out of the way. It's actually right down to the wire. Bring everybody else back inside. Recall our robots. And Sunny does the last of the work out here and good. Run, run, run. I think we can beat these things. Yeah, okay, just have them run over the traps. And one, two, three, four. Jesus Christ, six. That was like five traps right there. Only 58%. Still, I think Sunny's got an advantage here. We still got a lot of spike traps left, and these things are probably bleeding out. Yeah, the other Giga Locust just ran through a trap. They're slowed down. Sunny's at level 18 in shooting. We need to get him a better weapon. Right now, he's taking. <laughs> Right now he's taking on massive insectoid hordes with just a bow. And it's just massive kiting now. Meanwhile, everybody at home is just rebuilding the traps. And there we go. Just provide a distraction for a bit longer. Level 19 in shooting. And I think we'd run through our gauntlet one more time. And these ones should just get themselves killed on traps. Good. Sunny can run back. And fuck, it got the kitchen bot. No, no, no. Pret play dead kitchen bot. No. Oh. Rip, rip, kitchen bot. The first of the losses to the bugs. No, builder bot. Builder bot, get back. Get back, builder bot. Yes, we saved builder. Fuck. And they got in the base. Fuck. Okay, one got through. Three, no, run three. Three, save yourself. Okay, Sunny, let it back out. You guys run. Well, let it fight the prisoner instead of us. Here we go. Sunny, get back out there. At least it gives Sunny a way to hit the mega spider. Oh no, two. Two's leg has been shattered. We're gonna need more android repair kits here. Come on, Sunny. Two's down and they're going after four. Well, at least he's fighting the prisoner now. We're just gonna have Sunny build an android pod. Now he could rescue two. The first to be fought on our... Their crusade against the robots ends here. It's gonna take him a while to heal up. We're gonna need to get some repair kits. But I think we've saved this android's life. We need to get him a replacement leg and make more. I guess we could use Giga Locust meat in our bioreactors. And on top of all that, we made it through not one, but two raids, and we set up a basic compound. It's gonna be neat. <laughs> It's gonna need to be less of a mess next time, but we've got a lot of interesting mod items in here to experiment with. We might even get one of our prisoners addicted to royal insect jelly and get a defense force of mega spiders, or just use them as meat shields. But until then, we've got our traps set back up. I'm honestly feeling ready to scale up this effort. Anyway, I want to say a special thanks to Roll1D2 Games because, uh... I was looking for other scenarios and I've just seen a lot of his stuff with androids. Androids and bots and it's actually pretty neat. Uh, so it got me to thinking of what I could do with a scenario like this. That and just all of the modders responsible for creating everything that's in here. There's so many mods. I'll put a list down below and I'm trying to figure out how to get it so that you could do one click subscribe all on the Steam Workshop. But I haven't quite figured out RimPy yet. So for right now a word doc. I guess especially to the Android tiers mod because I mean that's what this entire series is based off it's really neat um and also misc robots because it's just freaking it's amazing this mod too but yeah i'll put that down below and as always my name's ambiguous amphibian i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye <laughs>